We're going to Disney Christmas and I am so excited. Very Merry Mickey's Christmas and the Epcot Christmas Choir. And then we're also gonna be doing some other parks as well. Um, so I am gonna be talking to you about what do I pack differently for Disney? And in this particular case, what am I doing different for Christmas at Disney? My name is Kelly, thanks for joining me and let's get started. So first of all, you guys know I like to bring specific things for specific vacations. But the first thing you have to do is look at the weather. And I think I've talked about this in other videos as well, because you're going to be miserable if you don't plan for the weather. And in Florida, it can be cold. It's been I've been there when it's been down literally in the teens and 20s and 30s. I literally hit the record cold day, I think, last year. And I've been there when obviously it's been 80s, 90s and 100 degrees. So checking the weather is really important. So we're leaving in a few days and there is a 40 percent chance of rain. Um, but it's Florida, right? So we always bring ponchos and these are the disposable ponchos. Um, they're super cheap. I will link them below. We also have reusable ponchos that we bring. Um, and so it kind of just depends on, we've done both ways. Sometimes we find the disposable ones to be easier. Um, you also can use it if you're bringing a stroller to put the um, to put the poncho over the stroller so it doesn't get wet if you have a little one. Um, but we never go anywhere without these. As well as shoes. Shoes are probably the most important thing um, you can bring to Disney. They need to be broken in shoes. Now it's Christmas. So I am bringing Christmas tennis shoes. These are the Brooks version. I will link them below. I love Brooks. I also love the Ultra Boost Adidas and I'm actually bringing both. Here's a pro tip. Bring at least two pairs of very high quality shoes that you can walk in for 10 miles. Um, it is very important. Why two different brands? Um, because it's going to rub a little bit differently, even if they don't rub, if they get wet, if it starts raining, it just, you just need that little irritation. And so switching out the shoes every other day, and this is kind of a tip for any vacation, really will help it not do that and prevent that and happening from that in the future. So pro tip, bring at least two pairs of shoes. Uh, so as I said, we're going to Disney. So backpacks are also being hands free is going to be really important. So I am going to be hands free, though. I am bringing the yes, I, I the Lululemon. I did buy the Lululemon. I have uh, the generic cheaper version of this, and I will link that below that I actually bought for my son. I personally, though, like the Lulu one better, not because of the name brand, but it doesn't have if you can tell the clip is in the front. It fits just a little bit better. Um, the zipper is like butter. I I really do enjoy this bag. Um, but I also will be bringing a backpack. And when we go to Disney, you really do need a day pack, I'll call it. Um, and a backpack always for us works best because again, it's hands-free. And I bought this one a couple years ago before we went to Hawaii. It is a packable, it's called the Venture Pal Packable Backpack. You can see it's the size of my hand. You can see how thin it is, it packs up. It is uh, water resistant. Um, it literally folds up into itself. So it is a backpack like this, like I said, and I hiked in this all through Hawaii when we hiked, I guess I'll call it the volcanoes. Um, it's very, very comfortable. It's got padding. It has a water bottle holder on the side. It's got little um, things that you can clip your carabiner. So I do have this little clip stash pouch. Um, that's RFID um, as well. And this is new. So I'm going to try this because you can put your cash in there and just little essentials so they don't get lost that you could just clip to it. Um, so I'm super excited to try this as well. Um, but it is a really, really nice backpack and it's easy to fold up. It literally folds and zip backs up into itself. So this is coming with me for sure. And what clothes are we going to wear? So now when we go to Disney, we pack for Disney. Or if we go somewhere else, we kind of pack for those themed. I think I've talked to you about that before. And honestly, we sometimes just put it away and save it for the next time we've gone. Now, it's been several years since we've gone to Disney. I think it was, it's been at least five or six years since we've gone. Um, but we do all have some themed clothes, um, in particular for Disney and Christmas. So my husband is wearing um, this Muppet sweatshirt. And so if you like oversized sweatshirt, it's, we got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. It's the nice fleece on the middle. Um, inside and some people don't understand that Muppets is Disney but it is 
Um, and then also, my husband is a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, and those two are going to be enjoying Star Wars land while I'm at um, doing some business. But he got this super cute Dis uh, Star Wars Christmas sweatshirt. Um, you can see it's it's got Dark Vader um, and the Santa Claus. Uh, so he ordered that, and that is his new purchase that he'll be wearing when we go to Disney. Now, it could be hot. Um, it could be cold. The Very Merry Mickey's Christmas is at night, so I anticipate it'll be a little chilly. But again, you really don't know, so we do have two long sleeve sweatshirts for him. I then um, am going to be, I have two short sleeves and one long sleeve, and I'll probably buy something when I'm there. I mean, it's our first time going to Very Merry Mickey's Christmas. My parents are super excited as well as my son. Um, so I bought a couple different options, knowing I, when, depending on the weather, I may get something else. But I have this cute uh, short sleeved um, t-shirt uh, that I'll be wearing. And I also bought a second short sleeve t-shirt uh, that has Mickey on it as well. And these um, are gonna go underneath my suit jacket. So again, I'm kind of there with um, some work business. Uh, so I plan to wear those underneath my suit jacket. It's not one where I'm gonna be presenting where I gotta look really fancy with suits. It's one that I can do a little more business casual and we're in Disney, so you know, on prop Disney property. And then with those, uh, with that, with my suit jacket, I'm gonna wear what they call the perfect pant. It's the Spanx version of the perfect pant. And you guys, if you haven't tried these, these are fantastic. Fantastic. Um, first of all, they're a deep black. They're very flattering. I mean, they're Spanx, right? So they're very flattering on all shapes and sizes, very body inclusive. Um, it's They are expensive. I will link them below, but they don't wrinkle either. And so I will be very comfortable wearing these with a suit jacket, one of my t-shirts, these black pants, and then if I go to the parks on a break or if we get done early, um, I will feel comfortable just taking off the suit jacket, my t-shirt and these black pants, and it'll look just fine. Um, so if you have options like that, that you wanna look a little more elevated, um, these are super comfortable um, and can be very versatile for a lot of things. And then I do have one long sleeve um, top that I got as well, Duck the Halls with Donald Duck. Um, so I will be bringing that one as well. Um, again, we are all about the theming when we go, um, so that's super fun for us. And then I do have a red kind of fleecy sweatshirt from Athleta that I'm bringing um, if I need that. But like I said, more than likely I'll probably get something there. Uh, and then I always bring Christmas pajamas. Um, if you have not tried the Soma Cool Nights pajamas, I'm telling you, they are fantastic. It's all I'll wear. I won't wear anything else fancy. Um, it is all I wear is the Soma Cool Nights pajamas. Um, especially if you're um, my age or older in the mid four, uh, I'm 46, uh, you know, having that cool night pajamas is fabulous. They're soft. Trust me, just try them. You'll love them. Now I'm going to be a little bit more probably contrarian. My daughter had these uh, ears, and I know everything you look at, right? We'll talk about ears. I, am I haven't decided yet if I'm going to bring them or not. They don't stay on my head well. So for starters, they don't stay on my head. Um, one thing I always do like to bring is a hat. And I did buy this um, from Disney World uh, on online. And it's the Mickey um, Christmas Santa um, hat that I will wear. Because if it's raining, or frankly, if I don't want to do my hair, you guys know I like hats. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this. But why am I going to be a little contrarian with this? If you're going on rides, they're kind of a pain in the butt, if I'm being honest. So think about that. Now, they're great shade. Um, all, and they're super cute. So I, again, I am not opposed to these. I'm just saying sometimes the ears and the hat either don't stay on, or if they do, when you're on a ride, they can blow, they're kind of annoying a little bit. So keep that in mind on whether you wanna wear ears or a hat. So just a little, um, my feedback anyway. And tell me below, do you agree? Or are you like, nope, I am all ears and I am all hat? Cause I'd love to know your comment below. And then I will also bring these Athleta pants. Um, they're called the Rainier Jogger. I love them. I've had these for years as well as the Spanx. So these um, have zippered pockets on the side, so I'm able to bring, pack things in there, cash if I need to, or my sunglasses or whatever. Again, they're great in rain because they will repel a little bit. Now, they're not a rain pant, but they will repel, and they're super comfortable. And I feel flattering. If you haven't tried Athleta, I really find their, um, their clothing flattering. 
I will then pair, bring a pair of jeans. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be wearing these or not, but I am gonna bring a pair of jeans. Um, for reference, we're gonna be there four nights and three days. Uh, we'll be getting there later in the evening on the first night. Um, so I don't need a whole lot of clothes, but um, they will all be going, and all of these clothes will easily fit in one packing cube. If you haven't used a packing cube, oh, I'm telling you, it is a way to get organized if you're messy. I am a messy packer, and these make me look neat. So um, if you, I do have a video that talks about that uh, that I can um, put above if you are interested in hearing more about how to pack if you're a messy packer, um, especially if you're going carry-on only. We are not going carry-on only for this one. We are going to be checking a bag, um, and mainly because because uh, when I, we go to Disney, especially my son and husband who are going to be getting up early because the day that I have to go to uh, some meetings, they want to get there early to Star Wars land and really kind of hit the, hit the rides hard early in the morning. Um, so for that to happen, um, we can't eat breakfast at the hotel or breakfast. You don't want to really want to stand in line with breakfast. So we always bring some breakfast items. So we'll be packing some granola bars. Um, I personally like the little oatmeal packets that I can use in my, you can use your coffee pot for hot water and make up some oatmeal packets. That's always great. Um, but real protein bars, really think about breakfast in particular. And are you going to be in a hurry to get to the parks? This is the time that I always bring a to-go cup. I just get, I can link these below. Um, this is the 16 ounce. So I always bring, you guys know me, you know I love my coffee, I always bring a Yeti and I will be bringing my Yeti cup and I can link that below. It keeps it hot for hours. But when I go to an amusement park like Disney or Universal Studios, I don't want to carry this around all day. Yes, I have my backpack and it does go in my backpack when I want to bring it. So you can absolutely do that um, and I have done that. But if I'm really being prepared, I honestly really love bringing my own to-go cups. Uh, because I can make my coffee and then I can just throw it away when I'm done. And I don't have to waste time going to buy a coffee. If I bring my Keurig cup, this is the Starbucks vanilla. They do have Keurig um, coffee pots in the hotel room. So I can bring my coffee. I can bring my to-go cup. I can get on the uh, transportation and go and just throw it away if I want. And I'm not wasting any time buying coffee. Now, in this particular case, it may not be an issue, but there is a pro tip for you. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we're checking luggage is we're going to be bringing a few extra things that we don't normally bring. Now, because we are checking luggage, I did, I guess I broke down on Black Friday, these were on sale, and bought the Apple AirTags. So for those who don't know what the Apple AirTags are, they are little, I guess, cubes that will tell you where your stuff is. So um, I'm gonna, we're gonna put it into our luggage. But I also bought these um, Apple ta uh, Apple tag holders that have little carabiner hooks on them. So then they'll just pop right in there, and you can hook them to things. So if you wanna, if you're somebody that always loses your keys, you can hook them on your keys. If you're someone that you really don't want to lose your backpack, you can hook the Apple tag onto your backpack. And it goes right to your iPhone so you can locate where those items are. Um, so honestly, if you have a child, you could hook it into the belt loop of their of their pants. If you want to know if you're afraid of, of a grandchild or somebody running off, I will tell you, my sister... Um, and my brother-in-law, when their kids were little, they actually, their youngest kind of took off running to after Mickey one, one day when they were at Disney. And of course, they didn't lose them. But, you know, it can be very busy. And so that can be really scary. They also then misplaced the diaper bag that they left on the Disney transportation. So if this had been on that diaper bag, um, they would have been able to quickly locate it. So I am going to be trialing these. Um, let me know below if you use Air Apple AirTags and what other uses do you have for them? Because I am curious. Now, we are going to Disney. And yes, it's December, but it's still Florida. And honestly, um, sunscreen is absolutely vital. So, so I am bringing sunscreen. And these are my favorites. I know I've been asked this before, but I almost exclusively use these. Um, sunblock. So the first one is the Light as Air Banana Boat, and I will link that below. Um, it is non-greasy. It is lightweight. It is literally light as air, which is what it says. Um, but it's got 50, uh, SPS 50, SPF 50, um, and you won't feel greasy. It's awesome. I always, always bring it. 
And then for my face, if I, especially if I'm not wearing any makeup or I'm going to be going to the pool. Now we haven't, we probably won't have time for the pool. I am going to throw in a swimsuit and a pair of shorts. Um, but we probably won't have time for that be between the things that we're doing in the short time that we're there. But if I was, I always use this Australian gold botanical tinted um, SPF 50 um, face. You will. It's, it, it is a strong tint though. So keep that in mind. It's a pretty heavy tint, but I really like it. I don't have to wear makeup when I do it. And it really has a nice finish to it. Um, they also light as air face has a protection as well. This is more white cast though, which is why it kind of gives me more of a white cast and I don't use it as often. Um, I do prefer this. Now, here is a little tip though. Again, I, I shared with you that I am going to be doing some business. So this um, science um, Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush On Shield is a powder, SPS 50, uh, broad spectrum SPF 50. It's a color science um, brand and it's a powder. And so it just kind of twists up like that. So when my makeup is already on, um, and I'm going to be, and I do put sunblock on before I put my makeup on. So I use a daily sunblock. If you're interested in that, I I'll link that below as well. So I'll already have that on, but later in the day, you got to reapply. And so I also just brush this on and it works fantastic. Um, now, so if you are interested in that, um, that is also something that works so well. Um, if you just keep reapplying it to your face, if you already have makeup on. Now, um, I explained to you that my husband and my parents and my oldest son, so this isn't going to be a child kind of, um, Disney. We're going to be doing more, I'll call it adulting Disney with some rides and having fun with it. Um, but we're all kids at heart, but we are going to be going to Epcot. And one thing I am super excited about is to be able to try all the, um, different round the world Christmas drinks and Christmas um, food that they have. We're super excited about that. So we also, and this is kind of double duty. If you haven't tried, if you haven't heard about liquid IV, they're little powder packets that you put in water. Um, and so it's great for hydration. So if you're there, whether it's sunny or sun or hot, and you're doing all that walking, this will actually help you prevent you from getting dehydrated but it also works pretty well if you've had a couple drinks and maybe you have a headache and you're tired and it can work well for that i also use a product um, i actually call them it's a pill product that i can link below as well again these are not um, you know, check with your physician before you do anything like this, please. This is not medical advice, but I have found it works really, really well. Um, when my son and I did Epcot drinking around the world, uh, not last year, I believe it was, I guess we did do Epcot um, and we did that portion and we used it and it worked great. Um, so I do highly recommend and we always just put some packets in a little packing pouch um, so it does not take up much space. Again, I highly recommend these little packing pouches um, and that always goes with us as well. So, you know, I talked about why, uh, you know, hats and ears aren't always the best, but hair ties and clips is where it's at. So I always bring a patch, a pack of that because honestly, I hate it when my hair is kind of flying around in my face, um, especially if I'm on rides or it's windy. Um, so um, I always bring a pack of hair ties um, and some clips. One thing you may not know is that Disney does not sell gum. Um, so there is no gum on property uh, if you go into Magic Kingdom or all those places. So I always bring a pack of gum um, because for us, that's just something that we like after a meal. Um, so keep that in mind if you are a gum chewer um, to bring your own gum. Now, again, Disney has kind of gotten into that where um, you're on your phone a lot. You're using the app a lot. And so portable chargers are essential. Um, I have this version. I have the iWalk version that I've talked about in the past. Now, this one has the lightning connector. And I actually just recently got the i15 Pro. So this connector will not work anymore. But um, as soon as it does, I will be buying that version. But I do have a portable charger. So a portable charger is essential. And one I would highly never go to Disney without um, very, very important. So uh, luggage scale, I explained to you that we're going to be checking luggage. So I'm going to be bringing my luggage scale to make sure we're not within um, out of weight. I do highly recommend that. We just stick it right in our backpack. It works fantastic. You'll want to bring a first aid kit. Um, again, somebody's going to fall. Somebody's going to get a blister. Um, you might have a headache. You know, motion sickness medications, I highly recommend. I always bring motion sickness medication, um, Tylenol, ibuprofen. And then I also really like this spray, Neosporin. We've used that a few times. Um, it's just a little spray. And so if somebody does get a cut, you just spray that on and you don't have to mess with it and it's done. So again, in the little pouches that I always bring and it's easily packed. Um, so I never go anywhere without that. Um, shout to go wipes. 
Again, you're at Disney. We're going to be trying different foods. We're going to be getting probably dirty and a little messy. So if you want to reuse your clothes, which we do, I always bring shout to go wipes. Um, I always bring my carabiner sunglass holder. So again, um, these I'll link below as well. My sunglasses just pop in it and I can just clip it to any bag that I bring, whether it's my backpack or whatever bag I have, I can just clip that and I don't have to worry about it. My Bose, Bose noise canceling earbuds. Uh, Disney rooms are pretty good, but honestly, depending on where you're staying, it could be loud. And you'll have, if you really go to bed um, early, there could be late fireworks. There could be, or maybe you want to sleep in and you're going to be hearing kind of the hustle and bustle outside. I'm telling you, these are very expensive, but very effective. Um, I usually, they just slip right in the ear. They're pretty comfortable. Um, I never go anywhere without my Bose noise canceling earbuds. Um, and then last but not least, well, I guess not last, um, my Kindle, I've talked about that. My Kindle slips right in my bags. Um, I always bring it. If you're one that doesn't like to go on rides or maybe you're watching the grandchild and you're just sitting there while they're taking a nap, Bring your Kindle. I bring it everywhere. I can just relax because this is supposed to be vacation as well. Um, you can relax and read your book. Kind of honorable mentions. We won't be doing this, but um, things that kind of brought me back from my past. Um, we brought made autograph books. So if you're going to be seeing characters, um, we actually did not buy the autograph books there. We had the kids make their own. You can tell this was back in 2010. Um, my daughter, JC, was very little, but she we bought some things and she decorated it. So this thing is, you know, quite a bit old, almost 20 years old, um, but the, the characters will sign the book and you can put the picture of them with that character, um, Pluto, Mickey Mouse, in that book. Another thing that we've done is we bought that material and you can get these things at Hobby Lobby or Walmart in a picture frame where they'll sign the picture frame and you can put the picture in the picture frame. So those are just some honorable mentions as I was kind of doing my blast from the past. We won't be bringing this. We will be seeing the characters, um, but we will not be doing that. And then also, you cannot forget a water bottle. Um, you got to bring a water bottle for re free usable. Um, pro tip, you can get free ice water um, in a glass at any of the vendors when you're at Magic Kingdom in those areas. Um, but if you just want to be able to refill your own, you got to bring a water bottle. So That really concludes um, for today what I'm bringing to Disney. We are leaving in three days. So excited. Um, again, for, for uh, Christmas at Disney. So comment below um, what questions do you have. I can't wait to be reviewing this with you all um, as we continue on with our Mickey's Christmas in Disney. Take a look at this next video.